age, yes. surpassing Carmelo, I believe. He um, he's in, as D Wade posted the other day, he's a walking bucket. So, what does that mean in terms of his legacy? All that does is define more of a what yeah. of a great player he is. What does that mean when you do it at the Olympics? I think his greatest legacy in the Olympics is not just that he's a walking bucket. To your point, because he's really you know now our all-time leading scorer. But the fact that he played this year, sure. the fact that he raised his hand after a very difficult two NBA seasons with the pandemic, coming off an Achilles injury last year, and he said, I want a, I want a gold medal. I'm, and I don't care if there are any fans in Tokyo. I want to represent the United States. Yeah. When he did that, Dame Willard raised his hand. Jason Tatum said, I'm in. Draymond said, I'm in. And so it's not just his greatness as a player, but his just he's a hooper. And if there's a if there's a game somewhere, he's going to play. And in this case, he's playing for, for the United States. I think it's interesting that he played. I, I feel, and yep. I don't necessarily know this, but I feel like they follow the leader sometimes, depending on who decides they're going to play, yeah. if they're going to play, other players then join in. Yeah. Um, is there a sense of that for you? Because when Kevin Durant said, okay, I'm in, yeah. I think that determined the others who wanted to be a part, the other vets, if you will, who said no I'm a part of this experience. No doubt. They've all been through a crazy NBA two years. And so they easily could have taken time off. Right. A lot of our stars, like Anthony Davis, LeBron. Uh, not uh, healthy, right? Not healthy. So they decided, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'd love to play. I love to play, but I, I can't because I don't want to physically risk my next NBA season. When Kevin played, Dame Lillard, who's never represented the United States, said, I'm in. And so we now have, I think, over the course of the last week, with the loss to France and a couple wins in pool play, and the fact that they're great players, yeah. the chemistry is building. Pop is adjusting their coach because it's the first time for him in the Olympics. They're in a good spot, but the difficulty now is every single one of these three games is one and done. It's like the NCAA tournament. Well, I well the thing that I've noticed, just you know, with my eye watching, there is this. Um, there was, and yeah. I'm not going to say that's always the case. There was this laissez-faire approach to yeah. the game. Right. Like we'll figure it out. You know, I told you that when I saw them in Vegas. Yes. It was like we'll figure it out. We'll, yeah. get, to, we'll get there. You know, yeah. very much like we can do this. Let's turn yeah. it on. But you can't turn it on if you don't have any cohesion or chemistry. Totally right. Now, we have the most talent of any team left in the tournament. The Australians will tell you that. The French will tell you. Uh, Spain. By the way, mm -hmm. they have a lot of NBA players as well. They do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the NBA. That's why I'm a little concerned about well, the game. Well, here's what's going to happen. See, what people don't have to understand is the NBA now, 25% of the league is born outside of the United States. Yeah. They come over here and play against us, Paul Gasol and Evan Fournier, Rudy Gobert. No intimidation factor. So what we have is talent hoping to coalesce quickly in a week mm -hmm. versus teams not quite as talented who they play for their country, they're proud of it. Certainly USA guys are too, but there's a little more chemistry because some of these players go back literally till they were seven, to, to when they were 17 or 18 years old. Do Are they afraid of us? I There was this, when I used to cover tennis, I would yeah. watch... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would watch when Serena or Venus would walk on the court and people would be afraid, just yeah. their sheer presence. I don't know if we have that same 1992 dream team right. fear that yeah. people would have. Is that is that fair? Still true, still true. But when all is said and done in these next three games, if the U.S. gets to the gold medal game, we still have great players. And not to say that they couldn't use more practice time, but in this given year where we had the NBA finals bumping up against the Olympics mm -hmm. and guys flying over here, literally the day of the game, the three guys. You're right. You're right. Draymond mentioned that. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. So, and I think uh, one thing I know about the USA team, yeah. tremendous character, great guys. They want to play. They want to play for each other. It's not as in this next few games against Spain, maybe Australia is, can we come together as a team? You notice, Carrie, you're a basketball fan. Basketball. Huge is the ultimate chemistry sport. Yeah. It's like it's like a jazz band. It's like me and Kenny on TV. Uh, if I'm off and I'm, I'm not feeling well, Kenny, tell him. That's a backward. That's Kenny, a, what do we do? I'm prepping my tennis, really. I've checked out. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think you guys make a great backcourt. Hey, Kenny's got to give it up a little more and pass it to you. Oh! But oh, uh -oh. but uh, but otherwise I think that, but I think he's gonna be mad at you for saying that. Melon out here distributing. <laughs> I think the chemistry is coming along not just nicely, but it takes just like you two guys. It takes time for USA basketball. It takes time, it takes just time. like us. And uh, by the way, though, I I don't know how do you fit in so well. You come right in here and you're just a role player and you make it look good. See, I'm, I'm the ultimate role player. Whatever the coach <laughs> wants, I'm gonna get it done. You know what they call a role player in the NBA? Tell me. A millionaire. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
pay me. That's not the case in NBC Sports. I'm going to say five dollars. No, no, that's not the case in NBC Sports. But I'm glad to be here playing my role. Um, Fred <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much. We'll come back. We'll talk women's basketball when you come back. Yeah. You'll be here Happy to through do the it. weekend and yes. see what our ladies are up to. We talk about Sue Bird and Diana uh -huh. Taurasi trying to get five, five unheard gold of. Can right? Do it. Yep. They can do it, right? They can do it. Yeah, right. I think they will do it.